Hello and welcome Capricorn. This is your July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Well then, what do we do here? We will divide the reading into sections so it's a bit easier to follow. We will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2023 before we then look at your emotional core and then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July 2023. Before we go there, I would urge you um, to watch the full moon uh, reading uh, for July because we, have, we are moving into the first of four supermoons um, that will affect us all massively so it makes sense um, to have a look at that video because obviously the full moon uh, in July is very early in the month and will affect you quite a bit so that said are you ready so what we do is we look at the overall energy and the overall energy is quite simple uh, for Capricorns now remember Capricorn as a sign you are associated with three different animals and that just means that sometimes when you are faced with situations that make you uncertain, you can become quite indecisive. Um, and the overall energy for the month of July for Capricorn is quite simple. Belief in magic. So what the guides are saying to you is look at what is in front of you, what is happening in your world and look at it from the highest point of view. Can you feel the magic in the things that come to you or is it energetically speaking draining? And then you should have a look at if it is draining, what can I do to um, either minimize or eliminate that energy, which means, you know, solving the stuff that comes to you, looking at it, dealing with it and then moving on. So the point is don't procrastinate. It is not healthy and not um, helpful to you this month to procrastinate at all. Don't sit with things too long. Uh, make sure that whatever is happening in your life, um, see if it can be solved or at least redirected in an area where you don't have to deal with it on a daily basis if it is something long standing. Okay, that was your overall energy for the month of July. Now when it comes to your emotional core, um, what, what what happens here is for Capricorn, there is neither the flow of love coming in, nor is there a flow of, of healing that needs to happen. All the guides are saying is to, to you, when it comes to your emotions, how do I truly feel? How am I still affected by relationships I am in or was in? And what the guides are saying this month is reflect, broaden your horizons, see what works, what didn't work, and then manifest differently. Um, because that's ultimately uh, what the message here is. Um, so if you are in a relationship and, and it has become a bit stale, look at what can be done to make it better and then make it better and manifest that this making it better will be then a sustainable part of your relationship. Conversely, if you're not in a relationship and you have just had enough of that crap, <laughs> never give up, but understand to manifest what you no longer need. So therefore look at how affected am I still and then look at it. So again, it's a bit of a reflective month for Capricorn. Ultimately, let's move on to your um, opportunities. I said that in so many other uh, star sign readings this month. Opportunities are scarce. There's not all that much happening. There's not all that much coming in. Um, and it is no exception for uh, for Capricorn. So it's not going to be a month where all of a sudden you can do 10 things at once. At least that's not in the energy here. Um, and what you have here is basically um, a shower or showering of blessings. So what the guides are saying is the most important thing when it comes to opportunities is that people that hire you, whatever you do for a living, whatever sustains you financially, remember that people 
have to deserve you first. Don't do anything that is emotionally draining. Don't do anything that is not rewarding. And don't do anything where you feel you're not appreciated. Now is the time to look at, before I go and look for another option, another job, another opportunity, are you in the right place? Are you doing what you came here to do with your life? Capricorns, that's all I got. Um, thank you so much. I see you all next month. Bye-bye.